if you remember we said when we study gender in a written discourse especially in literature we study it in three areas one has been discussed that was difference between style of female and male literary authors and we concluded that there is no such thing there is no direct link between uh, female authors and male authors style and their gender now here we would talk about the second area where we can see the relationship between gender and literature and this is through gender category the grammatical gender that is available in a language so here we are not talking about biological gender male or female we are not talking about cultural gender how the society how the culture defines a man and a woman we are talking about gender as a category of grammar now, what i mean by that you know that a pronoun has cases nominative subjective objective so case is a grammatical feature similarly nouns have gender they can be uh, fe feminine they can be masculine so gender in this sense is a grammatical category grammatical feature of nouns in english how we define gender we define gender in terms of sex so here se uh, gender is sex based and uh, this difference is clearly seen only in third person third person pronouns what we say we say he is used for masculine she is used for feminine and uh, this uh, difference between gender uh, is based on sex in case of other persons you all know first person i and we second person you and even plural third person they there is no relationship of gender with sex they are sex neutral they can be used both for males and female okay so english speakers are bound to make these choices according to the sex whenever you are writing about some female so grammar would require grammar of english makes this binding on you that you only uses she her for that if you are talking about referring to a male grammar of english restricts you to use he his him for that okay similarly in some languages gender agrees with determiner determiner the main category of determiner is article a and d we call them determiner in french gender agrees with determiner yani the form of determiner and gender agrees with each other they influence each other's form uh, you know uh, what i am talking about uh, you can understand it how you all know the pronoun after a preposition changes its form it becomes in uh, it becomes objective you would say to me you want say to i to is preposition you would say to him not to he so this is agreement case agreement okay here we are talking about gender agreement between determiner 
and gender and this is not found in english this is found in french for example to choose or to avoid gender agreement now you have this choice you know this is the gender system of my language now this is up to you this is your choice whether you remain bound whether you follow the gender system or you violate it your choice would create different effects on the reader and this is where our uh, style of uh, literature and gender are interlinked with each other this is the point where we would see whether they are related or not we perform some social action now see this is important point to choose or to avoid gender agreement tells about the personality of the speaker one it tells us about the writer and if a writer we are talking about speaker so it tells about the speaker what kind of person their speaker or writer is how it happens that our use of gender indicates our personality what is relationship between the both we perform some social action when we use language according to norms of a context if you remember we have talked about feminine pragmatics and there we discuss speech act theory speech acts the actions we perform through utterances through speech we perform actions physically or linguistically those actions which are performed or which can only be performed through language we call them speech acts promise can only be made through language warning can only be given through language nikah can only be uh, performed through language opening of some ceremony can only be done through language so there are so many acts in our social life which we perform through language we call them social acts or speech acts and we perform them through uttering some words i have given you examples uh, see here you will not repeat it with particular intonation in particular context for example uh, you are in classroom you show some work to your teacher so in this context these words you will not repeat it is a kind of advice or warning similarly i'll talk to your driver you go to university or college through a, a wagon the wagon driver uh, drives the car fast uh, wagon fast so you have a complaint you talk to your father and father tells you i'll talk to your driver this is a promise in this context so we perform warning we perform promise right through language similarly gender is a social action gender is a speech act our gender is what we say so we give gender to ourselves through our language use it is also a kind of speech act which we perform we perform gender through language it is also a speech act this is the idea that was proposed by judith butler this restriction this restriction on choice comes from gender norms we are free to present ourselves according to our will if we violate gender norms now judith butler says 
that now when we use language we perform gender we may perform gender according to the gender system of the language second or we can violate the gender system of the language we have a choice this idea is proposed by butler okay this is judith butler she is american and uh, her fame uh, comes from her book uh, uh, whose title is gender trouble okay uh, when she talks about gender trouble she talks about this restriction that language puts on the choice of gender terms she says that the use of these terms the restrictions put by gender system of a language on our choice on our performance of gender so it creates troubles it creates problems uh, it, we can't express fully uh, our gender our personality because of these restrictions this was her idea livia disagrees with this author butler she says the choice of sex based he she or neutral gender they i we is a matter of style it depends upon your purpose it is not something imposed as butler thinks that gender system imposes a restriction on us that's why we are not free to perform gender we want to say something we want to perform gender but gender system puts boundary restriction on our expression of gender performance of gender this was the thinking of butler but livia says that this is a matter of style not a matter of restriction it depends what is your purpose the choice of i for example in novels if an author uses i writes the whole novel in first person so this choice means that the author wants to give impression that the narrator who tells the story and the actor who is part of the story both are the same right narrator both sees and tells about the action the teller of the story and the seer of the story are the same person now if your purpose of writing is this so you can opt i you can opt gender neutral pronoun it depends on the purpose of writing for example you see on television when people report on some accident fire or something like that the reporter if the reporter is present on that site so he is he is seeing the action and he is also reporting the action and he will use pronoun i okay the choice of sex based gender it would makes clear that your purpose is different you want to achieve some different purpose in your writing this time what would be your purpose your purpose is that the reporter of the action the narrator and the seer of the action are different okay you can uh, i uh, see this when the same report comes in hands of the reporter on the television so on one side the reporter talks and on the other side they show the action going on now this reporter on television is not present on that scene so the reporter and the person who is part of that scene they are different okay 
so these examples show that the choice of sex based gender or the choice of neutral gender from the available categories of a language it is made according to our purpose of writing it has nothing to do with our authority autonomy power to express our gender or to restrict our gender it has nothing to do with these things which were pointed out by judith butler